Hi, welcome to our continued coverage of CES 2012 and we're here at the Sharp Stand where I'm joined by Brad Lyons to discuss their new ICC 4K LED TV. So Brad, perhaps you could tell us about it please. What we have here is a 4K television, that means the resolution is going to be roughly four times more than a standard 1080p television. The resolution is going to be roughly 4,000 by 2,000 lines, uh, equaling almost 8 million dots. Uh, so the overall resolution will be significantly better. Uh, the ICC aspect of it will actually help with the overall depth of the image and not just affecting detail. So you'll actually feel like you're looking into the image as opposed to looking at a flat image. So basically the TV includes two factors. One is obviously standard scaling to yes, take it from which is all, a 1080p yeah. source up to yep. 4K. And everyone and can do that pretty easily. Yeah. And so how does the ICC element work then? Uh, what they've done is a lot of research on how the brain and the human eye interprets light and most notably depth with light. Uh, so they're able to take those research things they found and actually apply it to a television, which is obviously a light source. Um, so it gives you the overall perception of depth versus an actual flat image. Right, so does that mean they're actually controlling the amount of light within the image itself to, do, to create that? Yeah, and dealing with a lot of shadowing and, and how to manipulate shadowing when you see it with the human eye. Okay. Um, obviously one of the big problems with 4K at the moment is there isn't any 4K content. Yes. Is this one way of addressing that problem? Uh, definitely. Uh, what we have here in this particular demo we're showing is we're showing 1080i going to both televisions. So you get to see a side-by-side -side comparison. And you can definitely see the better improvement in overall detail with the upscaling processor that we're using. Okay. Is this actually a, a consumer model, a retail model, or is it, it a prototype? <laughs> it will be in the very near future. We're looking at releasing it sometime in 2012. I mean, demonstrations behind us is actually showing static images. I mean, how does it handle movement? Uh, movement, it will be the same type of processor that you would use in a regular 1080p type image. Um, but as of right now, this is an engineering model, so we don't have specifications on what we're going to be doing. Um, if I was a betting man, I would probably say somewhere in the range of at least 120 hertz, more than likely a native 240 hertz panel will be what will come out. Um, with any type of movement on any television, you get a downgrade in overall resolution with movement. Um, but if you're downgrading from a 1080p, it might go down to, let's say, a 1080i or 720p type image. But if you're downgrading a 4K television, it'll still be significantly better than you'd see on a regular 1080p TV. You mentioned earlier that the demonstration material was 1080i. Is there any reason why you're not using 1080p as the content? Uh, in the United States, the most readily available content right now is either 1080i or 720p over a cable box or a satellite box provider. So we're trying to show the customer exactly what they can use and what they can do with a 4K television in today's world. Like you said, there's not much content available right now in 4K. So we're showing the customer here exactly why they would buy a 4K television today. But obviously it would be quite easily work with 1080p Blu-ray if you wanted to. But without a question. And camcorders and stuff like that that are uh, around the show as I'm sure you've seen. Well, it all sounds very exciting. Thank you all very much, Brad. Very good.